Hey guys, Ultimate Immersion here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install my mod and textures for your Minecraft. For which we will go through Optifine, Forge and Shader installation to get the same result as you see here. I will also show you how to allocate more RAM to your game because you'll need it to load the high resolution texture packs and mods. We'll also go through some ray tracing shader optimization so you can gain few extra frames without any drastic visual difference. I will split this tutorial in chapters so it's easier for you to follow. First we will install Optifine which you will need to run shaders and higher resolution textures. I will mainly focus on Minecraft version 1.12.2 because my mod is currently not supported for versions above. I do plan to make it compatible, so once it is, the installation procedure will be exactly the same, you just have to be careful which Minecraft version you install Optifine and Forge for. For 1.12.2, we will install the preview version of Optifine, because it now supports CS PTGI E8 and E9. Simply go to Optifine website, open preview link and download the latest 1.12.2 version. Once downloaded, just double click the jar file and install. Next we will install Forge, which is a Minecraft mod loader. Go to their website, link is in the description, and download the stable version in .jar format. You can use any 1.12.2 version with my mod, in case your other mods require different Forge versions. Simply double click the file and install the client. To make Optifine work with Forge now, we will have to go to your Minecraft folder by pressing Windows key plus R and type in percent app data percent backslash dot Minecraft and press enter. Now we will make the folder called mods, which will be later used to drop mods for them to be loaded in the game. Grab the optifine.jar file and drop it into newly created mods folder. To launch Forge, you will now have to select the Forge game instance in your Minecraft launcher. I recommend you do a test if everything is loading properly you should see both Optifine and Forge displayed in the left bottom corner of the main menu. Now we will install a shader, my mod and my texture pack, which is basically just a simple drag and drop in the correct Minecraft folders. For shader installation, I will use CS PTGI Ray Tracing Shader, which looks best with my textures and mod, but you can technically use any shader you want. To install the shader, just grab the shader archive and drop it into the shader packs folder in your .minecraft folder. You can add as many shader packs to this folder as you want, which you will need to load within the game later. To install textures, just grab the texture archives or folders and drop them to resource packs folder. Again, you can have as many texture packs in this folder as you want and will be loaded within the game later.
And finally, to install my mod, grab only one .jar file and drop it into mods folder in your .minecraft folder. You can only load one instance of my mods at the same time, otherwise your game will crash. You can also run more mods alongside mine, but with adding multiple mods things become less stable, so you need to make sure all mods are compatible with each other. For the final step, we will allocate more RAM to your game. This is needed to load textures of higher resolutions. Head over to your Minecraft launcher and select the Forge version you will always have to launch in order to run shaders with textures and mods. Click Edit and under JVM Arguments Change the number to allocate more RAM. Make sure you have 64-bit Java installed on your system, otherwise RAM allocation will be locked to only 4 GB. Now we can launch the game and load shader and texture pack. Once in main menu, go to mods first to see if my mod got loaded. Now we will load the shader. Go to options, video settings and shaders and click on the shader you wish to load. Lastly, we will go to Options and Resource Packs to select and load the textures. You can switch between shaders and texture packs as you wish. But to change a mod, you will have to exit the game and replace the mod that's currently in your mods folder. In your shader options, you'll need to set the texture resolution to match the currently loaded texture pack so shader can display reflections on the glass and water correctly. Ray tracing and high resolution textures are very performance demanding and you have to understand everything is based on an old Java engine. So if you want to gain a few extra frames, I suggest you lower the reflection trace length, GI filter quality and geometry trace quality. Most of these settings currently apply for the CS PTGI E9 and may change a bit in the future. You also need to make sure you have all these three settings on in order to display reflections properly. Lastly, I suggest you play on a flat world and not survival generated one for better performance and use around 2 to 4 render distance in your Minecraft video settings. Reducing your game resolution will also help performance drastically. You can play with these settings and see what suits your computer best. Alright guys, I hope I covered everything and you found this tutorial helpful. Please leave a like, subscribe and comment your thoughts if you did. For more help you can join my discord or my subreddit and I'll see you in the next one. Stay awesome!